Today's video is sponsored by Liverpool Football Club. If you don't have a team that you support and are looking to jump into football supporting, then Liverpool is the team for you. They haven't won anything much for ages, so now is the perfect time to jump in on the Liverpool bandwagon. Also, if you're a fan of a team that's maybe struggling, maybe you're a Bolton and you're a Bolton fan and you're fed up with poor management and poor ownership, then and also, if you don't mind being called a glory hunter for your entire rest of your life, then Liverpool is the team for you. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to another season. Transfers have been... It's been a tricky transfer window, having zero money to spend um, after getting promoted. Uh, we've done, but we've done some bits. We've got some good news, and mainly, actually, mainly good news. Apart from finances, um, which are horrific. As you can see, we have transfer budget because that's because basically I decided to just move the wage budget of thirty seven thousand or whatever. I moved a lot of that to give us a little bit of transfer budget, and we just signed a new goalkeeper because of it. Because I'm, even though we might not be here for the next five years, what. I, as we all know in the journeyman, we try, unless we hate a club, then we try and wreck them. But we generally try and leave the club in the best possible position it can be in. So we've got to be really careful with money. Um, the projection is we're going to double our debt. In the last season and a bit, the, the owners have put in one and a half million pounds to just keep the club afloat. So we've been having a fun time. Um... Just a, a check up on our profile. It's it still looks a bit shit, doesn't it, to be honest? But we are now officially two and a half star reputation, 50%. I love that reputation, 50%. Okay. Uh, loyalty to players, not good, but managing finances, X account, thank you very much. Hands on approach, loving it. Love a bit of uh, tactical consistency, 100%. Handling of team discipline is good. My loyalty, domestic player bias is pretty level. And media handling, which I don't do any of. Apparently, I'm quite good at not doing any of it. Rarely communicates directly with his players. I, I'm just better than them. So, um, I have basic understanding of Ukrainian, which is, which is always good to know. Um, interesting, my Luxembourg knowledge is quite high, considering we've we spent, what, three, four seasons in Luxembourg? Five, six seasons in Luxembourg, and we got over half. It's quite a small country. You'd think it'll take longer to get Ukraine, but that is fine. <clears throat> this dude hates me. <clears throat> All right, cool. Right, we've done. Let me show you the transfers, people. So we sold a player as well, is which is quite remarkable in and of itself. So, um, <clears throat> Shapoval, I have no idea. Some youth talent dude. Uh, on a free. Nazarenko we knew was going to leave to Club, Club Bruges on a freebie. He's gone off having a lovely time there, I'm sure. Um, he's already... Oh, friendlies. Don't count. Um, and we s s got rid of Denis Zvonic. Zvonic. He's got no lips. Um, so that was part of the problem. 31-year-old um, Bosnian. He was on loan last season and we managed to scrape... He's, he's, he's banging in a 7.3. Um, at... In the second, that's the second division, isn't it? Is that? Yeah, that's the second division. I was like, hang on. Um, so, yeah, 50 grand. I was quite happy to do that. We spent 200 grand basically all on one player. But let me take you through who we got. <laughs> I said we were going to be brown nosing Shakhtar and Dynamo Kiev. I wasn't joking. We've got three players from Shakhtar, one from Dynamo, a free transfer, Sparta Prague and Partizan and Vozdovok. So, Marit Skylarov is a new central midfielder. Maybe not somebody that's going to make a ton of impact straight away, but a very, very good youngster. 20 years old, capped at under 19, level four and a half star uh, potential. Played one game of football terribly um, for Shakhtar. Then we've got oh, Mikhailo Mudrik. I know I'm going to call him straight away. Mudders. Mudders, did I, did I do that? No, it doesn't update, does it? Right, Mudders from Shakhtar. To be honest, I've slept with uglier women. Um, 
<laughs> he's not a bad looking chap, is he? Right, so this guy is, is really interesting character. He's uh, 16 under 21 caps. He's only 22. He's a bit of a beast. He's, we're paying him like three grand a week. He's one of our highest paid players. He actually played six games and scored for Shakhtar last season. Um, very good talent. A couple of things I liked about him, old mudders. His crossing is amazing and he's got flair and he's got amazing dribbling, right? So, Messi. Actually, I don't think Messi's crossing is as good as that. <laughs> so, slightly better than Messi is what I'm trying to say, obviously. Um, got flair, determination is really good. There's some weaknesses, especially in his mental area of his game. He, I don't think he'll be, like, amazing. We're going to play... I've decided, even though we played that sort of 4-2-2-2 last season, I think it's a bit optimistic at first season. So we're going to play more of a 4-4-2. He's going to play on the right-hand side as a winger. But he likes running with the ball, which is which is a good job. And he can cross a ball. We can also... He's going to be our like third, fourth choice striker as well. He's got decent finishing. His composure's a little bit low. Um, but very, very good player. Um, one of the best female players in the game. <laughs> Next up, we have Vachilislev Spirin on a free transfer. He is just another good young goalkeeper, just to give us a bit of depth. Um, it just that, that, don't know what else to say. He's played one game of football, conceded a goal. Job done, isn't it? Next up, we have Alexandra Kolimites. Kolo. Oh, Kolo. Because then he scores. We go Kolo, Kolo, Kolo. <clears throat> right and he is a left back another good youngster we've got a very young team uh, <laughs> disturbingly young because not only have we basically what we've done here is all these players that never quite made it at the top level got released by Dynamo and Shakhtar we've just hoovered them up because that's kind of the best we can do a lot of the players that improved our squad that are maybe in the prime of their career all wanted like loads of Loads of money, which we can't afford. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, he's a pretty solid left back. Uh, good. He's brave. He's unambitious. Yay. Don't think he's ever going to set the world alight. Next up, we have Mislav Komorowski, who is our centre-back Croatian. Now, this is what I went for, sort of experience. 31-year-old Croatian. He's been around a bit. Um, came through the Dynamo Zagreb ranks. He's played a bunch of football in Croatia in the Max TV Provahunal League. Um, and then played for North East United in India. Oh, Churchill bros. Big up, big up. Um, and then he was playing in the Premier, this league last year. Didn't really get any game time. Um, so, And we're playing them today, first game of the season. So it, I just thought we've got to get somebody with some experience. And he's just a really solid all-rounder. He's pretty pacey despite his age. Experienced centre-back. Um, Left-footed as well, which is nice. It gives us a bit more balance. I think he's just a solid all-rounder. Scouts say he's three stars. I think they're talking bollocks. Next up, we have uh, on loan, Alexander Lazurski from Sparta Prague. A right-back option. Um, very sort of solid, especially mentals and physicals. Technicals are pretty good as well. 21-year-old Macedonian, probably soon to be in full international, but 28 under 21 caps. Um, he's been on loan a couple of places. Banged in a solid seven average there. Four, <laughs> four games, but you know. Um <clears throat> And then we got Gojko Baluch, who is another right back. Serbian. One thing sp sprang to my mind when I signed him or saw him was he's got 20 teamwork. I'm just happy to see 20s. Uh, decision making is 16 as well. He's got some really nice attributes along with a couple, couple of weak ones. But basically those two right backs are going to share the responsibilities. I'm going to let them find out, see who goes through. And finally we have Marko Ilic from Vozdovok, who is our new goalkeeper. Delighted to be here. Lovely haircut. He's been badly photoshopped. Um, he's another Serbian, 25 years old, 421 caps, uh, three and a half star ability. Because otherwise, I, and I probably overspent a bit for him, but he was willing to come to me not on ridiculous money. Still a lot for us, 1,600. Because um, a lot of the players wanted so much more. The biggest thing was, if I didn't sign a goalkeeper, then we would rely on two under 20 goalkeepers. And although we've got a very young team, basically gambling that one of those two 20-year-old goalkeepers is going to do the job is a bit risky. So I thought I'd get somebody in with experience. He's also a sweeper keeper, which is what we want to use. Um, One-on-ones is good. Rushing out's okay. Reflexes and 
good pass with the ball as well. Um, a solid all-rounder, so very happy to get in. Like I said, probably a bit overspent a bit for him, but I treated myself because we needed the money. I have, it's 100k up front, 100k over three years, and then 100k if he plays 50 games for us. That's basically what it is. So if he does totally flop, we'll save we'll save the 100k. But the biggest transfer new I don't I don't know what that is. The the biggest it's that big. This is how big this news is, my friends. We have kept Marcus on loan for another season from Shakhtar. I'm amazed. It shows how good their team is that this guy gets nowhere. He's on loan for another season. <clears throat> We're paying um 950 quid a week, which is I think all his wages. He's uh, oh yeah, most like ninety percent, eighty percent of his wages, uh, we're paying plus two k a month, five hundred quid a week, so one thousand five hundred quid ish a week. Lovely. His contract is running out in six months' time. Now I have approached to sign him, and he said he doesn't think we have the uh, financial muscle to pay him, despite the fact I could double his wages. But. Don't let facts get in the way of a good story game. Um, but I'm just I'm just happy for him to be here. It's amazing. And I also did give uh, Koga another contract. He, like I said before, he's one of our highest paid players. I ummed and ahed for so long about giving this guy a contract. But after seeing the the team, what the team needed, and the ability to basically us to sign only kids, I thought we need someone with a ton of experience that's been here a few years, um, that's very, very good, and that can mentor some other younger kids. It's on three grand, but I think it's well worth it. So that means we have kept the central midfield partnership, which is, which is massive. And the rest of the team, if we sort by age, mm -hmm. yep, yep, we have a... Two players over 30. We only have two players 25 or above. And then everybody else is under 23. Right? So, and this is kind of forced into it. A lot of these come through the youth ranks or that we've hoovered up from the smaller teams or the, 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 the bigger teams that didn't want them. So, we're going to pick the team for the first game of the season. Let's have a look at the odds. We are playing FK Alexandria. So, we'll... Check out how they're... I'm, I'm assuming we're at the bottom. Hey! Hey! Sami came up with us, which is cool. I like Sami. They're, they're the draw masters. We're playing potentially fifth in the league, fifth favourites. And we're not second from bottom or bottom. They must be terrible. Old Obolon Brewer, Kiev. <clears throat> so that's nice. Good to know. What was, the, what was that? Highlighted star player, Mike Mangnan. 11 million quid's worth. He looks serious, doesn't he? Right, so, Illich in goal. As for right back, we've got our two loanies. I'm going to go with Lazurski, because I think he's slightly better, well-rounded. Central defence is, as you can see, quite quite young, and that's the exact reason why we've brought Komorski in as the sort of more experienced player who's going to play on the left, because he's got a left foot. Oh, we also loaned back Chiriuk, the striker. We got him for another season. And Sheppel, the centre-back, because he's... Developing really nicely. He's a solid all-round player. It's going to be... Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> it's going to be an incredibly tough season. Um, but, you know, we might cause a few upsets. So our options at left-back are Colo, who we signed, who's the unambitious one. We've got um, Victor Panini, who's a footballer. Um, and... Komorski can play there as well, but we also have got Dove Guy, who's another one of our few experienced players. He's on quite high wages, but I thought we need to keep some <laughs> semblance. Let's go for the unambitious guy. It's not our strongest area of our team, but out of the four options, we should hopefully find one that's half decent. Okay. Kogut suspended, which is a bit of a bum. <clears throat> but we've got Skylar off. We've got Kozlov still. We've got Crap, crap, Vinny, crap, Vinny. Wow, that's a great name. That's crap, Vinny. Um, <clears throat> I don't actually. I think we might need to get another. Although Dove Guy can play as a ball winning because he's actually a natural as well. He's actually pretty good. He likes a little bit of pace, but I'm gonna just to we have more ex as much experience in the middle as we can. We'll have him uh, playing as the ball winning midfielder, and then. Um, 
What are we doing now? Right wing. So we have Lisensky as a our option, who I, I think could be a very, very good player. Had a good end to the season last season. So we're going to chuck him straight in. And then on the left, we have uh, Hol Olovoko. <clears throat> um, it was pretty solid. It's, nah, isn't it? It's, it's, nah. And Kobach. Again, the left-hand side is maybe slightly weaker than the <laughs> right-hand side. Um, but it will it will make do. It's the best we could do, okay? And then we are going to go with Chiriuk, who's requested to leave. How much do they want for him? Um, 400k. Okay, uh, we got him on loan. And Dorenko, the youngster who's just signed a new contract, could become a very good player. So we're going to give him game time. And uh, we've got Kondratenko, who scored, did so well despite his young age and lack of maybe numbers. <clears throat> so you're going to go on the bench. We'll keep Mudders on the bench for the time being. We'll ease him into the squad because he can play up front as well as, as on that right-hand side. And then we'll go... Um, you can go on the bench as well. And then Kozlov. We'll go both centre mids. And then we'll go Ignatiev. And we'll go... Oh, Edgar, hang on. Sakyan, our Armenian superstar. Got to go him on the bench. And Victor Panini. I'm just going to call him Panini. If you don't, if you don't um, like the fact that I nick, or how many I's and N's, Panini, doesn't look right, does it? Is it two N's? It's my nickname. It doesn't. It's what I said it to. Panini. There you go. Um, if you don't like the fact I give players nicknames, well, firstly, tough shit, because sometimes they're just fun. Sometimes they've got s silly names that they deserve to get nicknames. And also, if you've ever listened to any football interview ever with the actual footballer, when they talk about other players, it's never their name. Because apparently footballers are too stupid. But there we go. There is our team. Kogut's going to come back in, obviously, as soon as his uh, suspension is over. And we're playing basically exactly the same, but just dropping the wingers back a little deeper. I don't think either of these are classic deep line forwards, but Dorenko's the better option for that. Right, here we go. First game of the season. I did try and arrange friendlies with our Luxembourg friends, but the board wouldn't allow me to travel there, and they didn't want to travel here. So, fuck them. Absolutely fuck them. Okay, here we are. Nervous. Illich gets the number one shirt. <clears throat> right. Bit of tea for luck. <clears throat> um, go out there and impress me. We've got a lot of new players, so impress me. Yeah? Otherwise you get dropped. Potentially. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. I'm very excited. The old start of the season optimism. I think I've done... Let me know what you think, guys. But I think I've done pretty well considering zero money. And unable to pay the wages that experienced players wanted. <laughs> we picked two or three players. We gave Koga a new contract. as That that was a big chunk. We got that young um, winger stroke striker from Shakhtar. You know, we spent, I think, the money wisely. We went big on a couple of players. That's a terrible dub guy. Come on, that's a terrible header. Um, big on a couple of players where needed. And we've kept the wages right down. We only spent a little bit in the transfer window, but that was out of the wage budget anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. It's five minutes in, lads. Five minutes. We probably should just go a bit balanced. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm, I'm interested to see what the... Oh, looking around, it's not good. The attendance is going to be compared to last season. Like we said, I think to realistically start making... Well, not a loss. We probably need quadruple the attendance. <laughs> plus some TV money the, the Sky Sports buy the rights to the uh, okay it's disallowed the Ukrainian uh, league I don't, I don't think they do but there's there's got to be some tele money in there <clears throat> he was he was offside for the whole time 
Right. Okay. I've seen I've seen better starts to a season, but it's going to take a while. A lot of these players, the preseason is pretty short, and so a lot of these players are just getting still getting used to the tactic. There's a bunch of new players, so and I'm trying to think of other excuses. And it's a bit sunny. Um, the pitch has not been watered enough, um, and I don't like blue. Okay, that's that's all I've got. <clears throat> I'm, I can't believe keeps. I can't believe we got Marcus in again. I am. So, I was so chuffed. I was like, you know, when it says um, their loan contract's about to run out, and I was like, renew? Question mark. Go on. Yes, Lysenko. Artem, get in there. Yeah, I was like, renew, and they're like, yeah, go on then. They know how good he is, right? He was player of the season last season. He had he was the top goal scorer, the most assists, the highest rating, the most man of the matches. <clears throat> yes, Lysenko. That's what we want to see from you. And I made I've made the right hand side a little bit more attacking just because they're better players. Ah, oh, Chiriuk's dead already. <laughs> good start, lads. Good start. Straight, straight dead as well. Not like I might need to come off. What was the potential? Oh, his kneecaps slip round the back. <clears throat> Come on, boys. At least we've we've scored a goal. Not seen an actual save from the goalkeeper yet, but you know. <clears throat> Shall I? <laughs> I I'll, I'll do it when the team comes back up. Oh, I've just the kiss of death. The kiss of death. Well, because that was not a straight red. I'm going to call this guy Laser. <laughs> like you're a child at school and you think that's a really cool nickname. Okay, lads. We have successfully killed off uh, Marcus because we said he was good. And I couldn't believe we got him, so of course, straight red, standard. Didn't look, didn't look like... <laughs> I feel, didn't look like a straight red. Didn't even look like a foul. <clears throat> also, while we're here, because I haven't talked about it, I made a video about Liverpool, if you want to go check them out. it was it, I just waffled on. Um, but I just want to congratulate Spurs... On their magnificent comeback. Thanks mainly to Liverpool. It was even referenced that they talked about it. Um, so I'm, I'm, Liverpool, we're taking the credit for Spurs getting through. That's what, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, it, it was all us. Uh, no, it was amazing. Spurs were amazing. Um, I was, I was kind of happy. I've got some Spurs friends, and I don't have anything particular against Spurs. I think Pochettino is a great manager. Um, love their new stadium. So I was quite happy if they got through. I'd also be quite happy if Ajax got through. Um, from a pure Liverpool standpoint, I'd prefer to play Ajax. Not because I particularly think they're better than Spurs, but because I, I don't like playing English teams in Europe. So I would have I would have just edged it to Ajax, but I'm, I'm delighted for Spurs. Oh, good interception. Terrible pass. Nobody was even remotely there, mate. Did I put the striker in the middle? Yeah, okay, cool. Look at me go. Check me out. All right, so a ropey start. When when I manage in leagues that I don't know much about, it's always very interesting because some leagues, there is... Go on. There, go on. Go on. Tight angle. Some leagues, there is like a massive jump from, say, second division to the top division. Some leagues, it's not so bad. So it, whenever we start a new season, like if we got promoted, it's like, is everybody just going to smash us in the face 6-0? Or are we going to actually provide a bit of, oh, he's almost got a hand to it. Pavlov with a goal. Mm. Is it disallowed? Of course it is. Cakes can't play football. <clears throat> um... Yeah, miles off, miles off. Oh, he almost got a save on it as well. Okay, I'm going to give him a bit of praise. So if we could just, especially with 10 men, if we can scrape a little cheeky little draw, 
Let's check a bit. Let's check a bit at Tim Wasting on. <clears throat> um, Panini's coming on. I've got an apprehensive right back, a complacent goalkeeper, and a nervous centre mid. <laughs> I've got the set, lads. Let's give a. Hang on. So you can make five subs in the second division, but you can only make three subs in the top division. That makes even. I'm so I'm I'm used to having five subs now. I don't know what to. Do. What is that for a throw? Is that that better be a pass back? Oh, three subs. <sighs> what is this backwards league? I thought five subs was the future. Mm, it's a good driving run. Plays a cheeky one too. Good block with his left testy. But he's given, gone through again. That's unlucky. Ooh. Ten minutes left, boys. Ten minutes left. For a heroic one-all draw. <laughs> the only two teams winning are Shakhtar and Dynamo. There is quite a difference in reputation and everything else. This is very much a two-horse race. Or is it? Yeah, no, no it would be a two-horse race. There we go, boys. What a heroic performance. I was very worried after the first 15 minutes. They'd scored and had one disallowed. But we play really well with 10 men. Marcus, I'm going to appeal it. It won't work, but you know. Um, I'm going to say well done. Well done. First game of the season. They're supposed to be like they're a mid-table side. Let's have a look at the attendance. Um, 6,000. I can't remember what it was last season. So wasn't it three thousand last season? I bet it's because it's the first. Yeah, it was three thousand. We said last season. I know there is a stat for averages. Just can't be asked to click it. Seven weeks. Okay, might need another striker because we really only have three strikers anyway. <sighs> That's a kick in the testes. That one. I'm going to appeal. Good luck, everyone. Okay, so we still got the transfer window it is open. Until some point in the future, probably a month's time, I imagine. Um, I, I might look for another striker. Because Dorenko I like, and I'm happy for him to be a main striker. Kondratenko, I think, is... He's, I want him to be a third or fourth choice. I don't, I don't think he's ready for quite for first-team football. And then also, I didn't get Mudders to be a striker. His first touch, is, his composure's a little bit off. His finishing isn't great. And his crossing's amazing and dribbling and flair. So I'd rather have that pelting down the wing. So I think, yeah, time for a new striker. But there we go, my friends. Let me know what you think of the old transfers. If you want to put a comment in saying where you think we're going to finish this season, put it in the comments. And then when you go to the comments, if you see somebody's already said first, because that's obviously the way we're going to finish, um, you can just give it a thumbs up. And then we'll see which number rises to the top. Uh, I'm going to say... Oh, so hard after one game. We all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say eighth this season, but it'll be close to a relegation battle. But I think within like five games after the season, we'll be comfortable. That's so. That's what I'm going for. Extra detail I've given you as well. Right there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. All praise Marcus, and I'll see you t next time. Bye bye.